I'm joined by Dr. Scott Bolton, Principal Investigator on the Juno Mission to Jupiter. Scott, thanks so much for talking with us today. Great to be here. Tell us about storms on Jupiter. So the storms on Jupiter, they're, they're actually similar to the Earth, but they're much, much more powerful. Um, the winds around the Great Red Spot are hundreds of miles an hour, you know, three, four times the fastest speed that we see here on the Earth. And the whole place is covered with storms. When you see the images from Juno, it's just amazing. In fact, one of the things that surprised us is when we saw the poles, they were covered with giant polar cyclones. And these are cyclones that are, I mean, they're nearly, you know, a significant fraction the size of the Earth. The, the Great Red Spot's bigger than the Earth. So everything about Jupiter's on steroids, including the storms. Why is it important that we study storms on another planet? So one of the things that's probably the most powerful tool for scientific investigation is comparative study. And so when you study another planet and you learn about how its atmospheric dynamics work, how its weather works, how meteorology, storms, you start to compare what's similar to that of the Earth, what's different, and when you want to make a general theory that basically has to understand, it has to be able to explain Jupiter, has to be able to explain Mars, Earth, that's really where the power of comparative study comes in, is, is in order to allow us to come up with the theory and the physics of how nature works, that works everywhere that we see. How can a middle school student get involved with the Juno mission? So one of the best ways to get involved is just go to our website, missionjuno.com, and there you can actually get involved in not only looking at the images and the data that we have, but you can actually analyze and make your own images from our raw data. You can customize a picture you already see that somebody else made, or you can actually go into the raw data, see how that camera works, and make an image from digital data that's being sent down by our spacecraft to Earth. Awesome, well thank you so much for talking with us. Thank you.